Good afternoon, guys! Welcome to Life Apollo's home of the most trusted beard and automotive news. Happy to have you here. All right, guys, so you know how I sent my Ferrari FF uh, out to Voodoo Autosports and Engineering uh, out in California so that I could get an incredible straight pipe exhaust system on the car? Well, apparently that exhaust system has already gotten my Ferrari FF into a massive amount of trouble. So we're gonna have normal automotive and supercar news later in today's episode. Feel free to skip ahead if you don't care about the Ferrari FF at all, uh, but it's something we have to go over first. Beard Nation, let's go. All right guys, so here's the deal. Uh, when I bought the Ferrari FF, you know, the, the four-seater V12 Ferrari that I, I've wanted for so long, uh, we did it with the express purpose of getting ready to straight pipe and tune said V12. Over the years, I'd heard a handful of straight pipe Ferrari FFs, and I was like, you know, that might be the best sound for the money that you can buy in a car. So I reached out to my buddy, Eric, known as Boost Scientist on Instagram, uh, one of the most incredible exotic car engineers that I've ever known. He did the straight pipes on my McLaren 570S. I figured, well, hey, if he can make my McLaren sound this good. then he can probably do wonders with a naturally aspirated Ferrari V12. So I sent it off to Eric over at Voodoo Auto Sports and Engineering and basically told him like, make it as crazy as you want. Uh, like basically the, the no Fs given version. Now, sadly, uh, the pandemic affected a lot of, of the 3D printing that we were doing uh, for the exhaust. So everything got pushed back by a pretty crazy degree. This was no fault of Voodoo's at all, guys. Just sort of bad circumstance, uh, sort of the state that we're we're living in right now. But we're pretty much up to speed now. 95% uh, of it done, just the exhaust tips are left. So I asked Eric, like, now that we have the majority of it done, the tune is on, can you go out and just like take a couple quick clips so I can show all of you guys? And not 30 seconds after the car leaves the garage, the shop, uh, we get pulled over for essentially having the most insane sound in Ferrari that the cop has ever heard. We immediately get cited for the exhaust. Uh, not a very fun thing when I haven't even had the car back in Colorado yet. And the car almost got impounded uh, because registration uh, got held up because of the pandemic too. But anyway, after the cop left, guys, uh, we were able to sort of sneak back out and get uh, some interesting audio and visual footage for you to listen to. Now, remember, the car is not 100% done yet, but I thought you guys would appreciate sort of the, the, the tone and flavor we're going for. Hear the clips? <laughs> I'm just so excited, guys. The car sounds absolutely incredible. I just can't wait to get it back. We have so many amazing plans for the car. But yeah, guys, apparently the, the Ferrari FF already becoming just a little bit infamous in the California circle for having just an absurdly loud exhaust. Anyway, guys, had to share kind of a crazy experience. I just got like frantic text messages about, you know, being pulled over. The car was almost gonna get impounded. I figured you guys might enjoy the tale. Anyway, enough about that, guys. We're gonna jump into some pretty crazy automotive news, starting off with Shmi, who just posted an Instagram story a couple hours ago, touched down in the USA, apparently in snowy Illinois. Knowing how packed Shmi always keeps his schedule, I'm sure that he's got a ton of stuff going on in the USA. Maybe he'll take a trip out to Colorado. We can hope for that as well. Uh, but he also had a very interesting post about the GT500, saying lots of GT500 questions. Uh, last year, I couldn't go ahead with the order because of not being able to get it. But now that I'm back in the USA, I'm certainly thinking to add it to this Shmi 
Speedmobiles, but that's not the main reason to visit. You might remember a story about a really fast car, plus there's plenty more. Could that be an SSC Tuatara reference? We'll have to wait and see. Make sure to subscribe to Shmi's channel, guys. Follow him on Instagram. Uh, last time he was in the US, he had incredible collaborations with so many awesome YouTubers. Make sure to go check him out, guys. Don't miss what he's gonna be doing here. Then we have TJ Hunt, guys, who's been just absolutely killing it lately, regardless of what video he does. His latest entry, uh, turning a $5,000 BMW 335i into a $50,000 BMW. Ah, uh, the M3 conversion shines brightly in this latest video, guys. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, I've been a huge fan of what TJ Hunt has been doing over the last year and a half. Uh, some of his builds are just incredibly entertaining. I really started watching his channel kind of late compared to most viewers uh, when he was doing the Ferrari 45A rebuild. Just fell in love with that car and TJ Hunt's vlogging style. Make sure not to miss this latest video, guys. I think you'll really enjoy it. Now, our next video from Doug DeMuro, guys, is in a super or a hypercar. It's just uh, a very interesting review. For whatever reason, I like it when Doug DeMuro decides to review sort of everyday cars. His latest video, the 2021 Chrysler Pacifica Pinnacle, is a luxury minivan for 50 grand. At this point, what can you actually say about Doug DeMuro that hasn't been said already? Uh, there is no bigger automotive review channel with more clout than Doug DeMuro's. And honestly, uh, he's able to get incredible views off of reviewing normal cars, uh, not just the Super or the Hyper cars like the Bugatti Devo or the McLaren P1 GTR, but he'll get significant views on this minivan and video too. Make sure to go check it out guys. Great video from Doug DeMuro once again. Then we have an ever fantastic review from the Straight Pipes guys of the crazy expensive 2021 Polestar 1 review. I mostly watched this video because I've never really known a ton about Polestar vehicles in the past and the Straight Pipes happens to be one of my favorite automotive review channels. So sort of big win-win there. Make sure to go check out this review guys. You're gonna learn a lot here. Next up guys, uh, an absolutely killer video from Street Speed. 717. The title says it all. Do not miss this one. Racing my new 702 horsepower Ram TRX against a Lamborghini. You won't believe this. You got the Urus or Urus. I can never remember how to pronounce it versus the TRX. You knew somebody was going to do this video, guys, and it just happened to be Street Speed 717 that I saw first. A uh, very, very interesting race. I don't want to spoil everything for you. I'll make sure to go check it out, guys. I'm sure we're going to see a ton of insane content on the Street Speed 717 channel featuring this insane new truck. Next up guys, Tall Guy Car Reviews, who hasn't been posting all that often over the last month or so, I think two or three times, but his latest video is a lot of fun. Uh, first time doing donuts in my supercar, featuring my fiance doing absurd burnout in my Hellcat. Gotta give Tall Guy Car Reviews some big props here, guys. Uh, he's always got very good cinematics in a lot of his videos, sort of setting the stage for whatever antics he's getting into. And he obviously has a very fantastic car collection. I mean, how can you not like Lamborghinis and Hellcats? Make sure to go check out his latest video. You'll, uh, you'll like it a lot. And how do we not recommend Supercar Blondie's latest video? If you're a hypercar or a Bugatti fan, uh, it might just be your dream come true. Uh, the latest video called Bugatti Chiron Perspore first drive. True accessibility to some of the most insane hypercars and concept cars on the planet. It's no wonder that Supercar Blondie is one of the most influential and largest automotive influencers in the world uh, and just casually has the most viewed Facebook page on the planet. Let that sink in for a second, guys. With over a billion views per month, uh, don't miss out her latest video if you're a Bugatti fan. It's just, it's an awesome thing to witness. A second shout out in two days, guys. So go, make sure to go check out Matt Armstrong's channel. He had a very great video about his Audi R8. Uh, well, at least great from the, the viewer's perspective. But his latest video, guys, I bought a wrecked VW Golf R MK 7.5 is a lot of fun as well. I'm quickly becoming a huge fan of the Matt Armstrong Armstrong channel. Uh, how can you not? The guy just has a great personality for automotive YouTube and is growing by leaps and bounds every single episode. Uh, do not sleep on Matt Armstrong's channel, guys. Check it out. Link for his channel in the description below. And then in the cleanup section tonight, guys, Daily Driven Exotics, our latest video, uh, meet my new 1200 wheel horsepower supercar, nine months in the making. It turns out, Yes, we were correct. If you watched our video yesterday, uh, insane new GTR for the channel. 
and now is honestly uh, gotta be one of the fastest, if not the fastest car they have in the daily driven exotics fleet. Now, a crazy car, I can't wait to see what they're gonna do with it. I would like to see some races between some of the different cars in their stable, but let me know, what do you guys think of the new GTR? Are you a fan? Did you want something different? Let me know in the comments below. And that's about all I've got for you guys today. I'm extraordinarily excited to get the Ferrari FF back. Hopefully it doesn't get impounded before it makes its way back to Colorado. Uh, I have so many cool things to do with it, guys. We're gonna race it against the McLaren, probably some other cars that uh, some friends of mine own. Uh, let me know in the comments below, do you have any ideas for what we can do with the Ferrari FF once it gets back to Colorado? I'd love to know what you guys think about this. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just so pumped, what can I say? Anyway, guys, make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. That's all I got. Bye.